Good morning, Plymouth friends and family. My name is Mike Leal. I'll be sharing a word with you this morning. In the last three weeks, it's been three weeks now since LA County has issued the safer at home order. And me, uh, I personally have had to make a lot of adjustments and changes. I've moved into a new house with new housemates. I've uh, learned how to use Zoom. Um, I've worked with a team of people to get our church worship and our gatherings online. I've had to revisit my budget to uh, account for reduction in hours. I've uh, had to wash my hands um, a lot, use sanitizers, I even bought my, got myself a mask. So I imagined that uh, many of you have also made similar or even more drastic changes and adjustments to this season. So you might relate to me this morning when I found myself disoriented, uh, a bit lost and exhausted. And when I asked the Lord about this, he asked me to, I sensed that he was calling me to be present to this place of loss. He reminded me that during this Passion Week, I lost Jesus and that there was no time for planning. This was not a time for looking forward to the future. But this was a time for fasting and weeping, for Jesus has been taken away from me. So if you need permission this morning to, uh, to acknowledge your exhaustion, to acknowledge your disorientation, to acknowledge your uncertainty and anxieties about the future, know that Jesus is near your sorrows. He has borne your sorrows on the cross and he desires to bear it this morning. In the life group that I'm in, we are going through the seven last words of Jesus. And um, the fourth word, which is what I want to share with you this morning, comes from John 19, 28 through 29. And here's what John says. Later, knowing that all was now completed, and so that the scripture will be fulfilled, Jesus said, I am thirsty. A jar of wine vinegar was there, so they soaked a sponge in it, put the sponge on the stalk of the hyssop plant and lifted it to Jesus's lips. I want to highlight two things for you this morning. First, uh, notice that the soldiers soaked the sponge in wine vinegar and they put it on a hyssop plant, which if you look it up on Google, you'll find that the hyssop plant is actually a shrub. And so for the branches to be strong enough, um, it can't actually reach that long. It's about two, 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 two three feet. And I had always imagined that, the, that Jesus was crucified maybe six or seven feet above my head. But if it's true that the soldiers were able to reach Jesus' mouth with this, this branch that was only uh, two, three feet high, that, that Jesus was not crucified um, on, uh, on such an elevated level, but he was actually crucified closer to eye level. And um, when I imagine that I'm standing next to the cross, Jesus is not suffering, uh, suffering. He's not cru crucified um, above me, but he's crucified next to me. And I know that, um, that Jesus does not stand above us in suffering, but he stands with us in suffering. And so may, these, may this image give you um, a new sense of awe for God's love for us and also permission and an invitation to come to him in your sufferings, knowing that he suffers next to you, not above you. The second thing that I want to highlight is that Jesus asked for the, for the wine in order to proclaim that it is finished. That's actually the fifth word. Um, so... Uh, so Liba taught, Liba shared on Tuesday about Passion Week, meaning passivity, how Christ uh, entered into uh, the, the he, he allowed himself to be crucified uh, without resisting. Uh, now Jesus also suffered very actively and very um, uh, knowingly and very intentionally. He suffered in order to um, bring us salvation. And during the season of isolation, there are many ways to satisfy, satisfy our thirsts. Um, alcohol sales have been up. Uh, pornography usage has also been up. Netflix subscriptions are up. There are many ways for us to satisfy our thirsts and appetites. 
But Jesus invites us this morning to satisfy our thirst through God's word, satisfy our thirst for God's presence, and satisfy our thirst for, for God's rescue. The beginning of that invitation is to recognize our thirst and to bring that to God. And the scripture promises that if we participate in Christ's suffering and thirst, we also participate in his glory and new life. So come to Jesus as you are this morning with your thirsts and your sorrows. God bless you.